Hello there, my name is Shell. You can call me Teacher Shell. I am an educator and I am also a content creator for Canva for Education. Just recently, I became part of the Teacher Ambassador Program for Philippines um, with Canva. And today, I would like to share with you how I use Canva in the classroom. Canva for me is the best design app ever. Canva for Education is a powerful design tool which allows me and my students to create visually stunning designs for any subject, for any level. And there in Canva, we can really collaborate, engage, and, you know, we can just really be empowered to design and learn, of course. So today, I would like to share with you some of the ways I use Canva in the classroom. What I will be sharing with you are the things that I have already done in my own classes and with my students. So I love creating and designing class presentations in Canva. And, you know, my students are almost always so engaged every time I present my lessons because I have a different um, presentation template design every time I have a class in Canva. You know, you will find a lot of these high quality slide templates, but you're also free to create from scratch. Um, I do that you know, as an education creator. I create from scratch as well. But there are really tons of templates that you can use from Canva already if you are not keen in doing your own designs. And also aside from that, I find that it is very easy to present my thoughts about um, a certain topic for a discussion because in Canva, um, I, I have a notes tab in my presentation slide where I can refer to every now and then while presenting. So it's really very easy for teachers, especially when we're having our um, class presentations. I also sometimes do um, an audio visual recording of my lessons and then I upload it in YouTube or I can just directly send the link to my videos from Canva itself. Um, I also teach this to my students. I teach them how they can do this themselves so that, you know, they can use it for their other projects in our classes or in their other subjects as well. Some of my students are also vloggers. So, yeah, they, they are really enjoying Canva because in Canva, you can also edit videos. So, yeah, exciting things that you can do in Canva, right? And here's another thing. I can also create modules using Canva. I would normally use um, A4 size document size canvas for this. Or, you know, just recently I have been experimenting in using Canva websites where I upload resources, classwork, um, modules, etc. It's also something that I shared with my students because it's a good way to actually showcase student works, portfolio, so yeah, teach your students how to do this. Canva websites are um, so beautiful. The templates that the creators have already provided for you are really superb. So use Canva websites, teach your students how to use it. Maybe one of these days I will be doing a video on how you can do websites in Canva. So there. No, there are a lot of things that you can do in Canva. Another way I use Canva in the classroom is by asking my students to do collaborative work or um, brainstorming activities and sessions in Canva. So we use it like a whiteboard. I would just give them the link and um, we would simultaneously add in information, learnings, whatever. Um, prior knowledge the students have of the topic, they can put them in. Sometimes some students would put images in there too, and we send out comments to each other inside the app. So real time siya, lalo na for those who are also um, always in Canva, yung mga nakatambay sa Canva. So pag nag-comment ako doon yung mga students ko na nakakanva, nakatambay sa Canva, nag-reply din sila agad. So great tool for giving feedback to students' work. So another thing that my students are really engaged in is using graphic organizers. Ako kasi I always encourage them to use graphic organizers, no? Because I believe that graphic organizers can really help students to visualize and um, construct their ideas, to organize and sequence information. Um, when I give them a reading task, 
um, bibigyan ko sila ng link to um, a graphic organizer on increasing reading comprehension and students are really able to plan what to write. They can also brainstorm, organize problems and solutions. They can do compare and contrast here also. A lot more, no? There are a lot of ready-made um, graphic organizer templates in Canva. Um, as a creator, as an edu creator, I also create my own um, graphic organizers and my students use them. I have a few in the library. I can share with you my link later, you know, the link to my profile. And more engaging learners activity in Canva. So this is a brainstorming graphic organizer that I created. If you can see, no, um, I was able to comment on the student work. The student was also able to submit their work in Canva itself, and I give my review and comments there. So, sabi ko nga Canva is also a really very effective tool in giving feedback to the homework that we give our students kasi nakikita talaga nila yung comments ng teacher real time. Ayan. I love it when students share their reflections too you know, about the topics that we discuss in class. As educators, we know how critical reflection is to the learning process and getting students to reflect deeply and meaningfully is oftentimes one of the most challenging um, things that we ask the student. But with Canva, students are able to do this creatively and you know when they are able to have the creative expression, then they are better able to work on their reflection task. They do not find it boring or meaningless. Um, Canva has really made it more interesting and engaging for them. When it's engaging for them, it becomes really meaningful also. So these are a few of the many creative reflection activities my students have done. So yeah, I'm sharing them with you. And okay, so here's another one. It's actually a 43-page presentation. Nagulat ako that my student was able to do that much. Siguro sobrang engaged kasi siya in creating in Canva. So this is a presentation for a summative assessment. You can really see that, you know, the student really enjoyed the designing process while at the same time being able to reflect back on the discussions that we were able to have in class previously. So thanks to Canva, students create their own learning. Um, they can now create their portfolios and you know, nag-visualize siguro nila better yung mga works nila and they can assess themselves and record their own learning while being able to design and create something be beautiful and useful. I really believe that um, the future is in design, so we really need to teach this skill to our students. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you for listening. Again, this is Teacher Shell. Um, I would like to share more about Canva and Canva for Education to all of you, especially to teachers and students. So please stay tuned to my other videos. I'll be coming up with more videos for you. And that's about it. Have a great day.